Okay, in this um, last video on plurals, at least the last video for a while, uh, I wanted to just take a bunch of irregular nouns uh, that form plurals in some irregular way and uh, just kind of show you that there are some patterns, but there's no patterns strong enough to become part of the rule. There's so many exceptions uh, that uh, they don't become part of the rule. And I said these are all irregular, and how do I know they're all irregular? Okay, what did I tell you before? You know, put it again in red. Look it up. Uh, the folks that made the dictionaries have done a lot of hard work, and they figured all these things out. And let's take advantage of it. So if it's a word you haven't seen before, um, if it's a word you're not sure about, get your dictionary out and look it up if you have the opportunity at all. So with that said, uh, let's start looking at these. Okay, here's one. It has an F in the second to last place. When we have an F in the last place or the second last, uh, as the last letter or the second to last letter, we very often, we very often change that F to a V and add the S. Now if it's in the last place, uh, we have calf down here, so we take that last F, and we have a V, and then we add an ES. Okay, so we end up one way or another with VES, so wives, calves. Okay, but that doesn't, you know, that's not, uh, again, strong enough to become a rule because the word roof, R-O-O-F, becomes roofs. R O O F S. It's regular. Just add an S, you're okay. Uh, another another uh, pretty common thing is to see um, a vowel, either the second to last letter or the second or third to last letter, that will change. So man, man one man becomes two men. And likewise, not to leave the girls out one woman becomes two women okay so and then we have we have it and even double letters that'll happen to double letters we have foot uh, and that will turn into feet okay my left foot my two left feet so we have I'm not much of a dancer. Okay, goose becomes geese. Uh, but moose does not become meese. That's on there for another reason. We'll talk about that one later. Okay, so tooth becomes teeth. Okay, so that's fairly common, but again, it can't be a rule because there's too many exceptions. Uh, I mean, moose and meese only differ by one letter, but their plurals are, are completely different. So, let me see. I'm trying to get all the old English words first. Okay, some we just add kind of oddball endings on. So, R-E-N, child becomes children and another E-N, ox becomes oxen. Okay, those are kind of uh, out of the usual. And then some, it's, it's hard to see. It's like two completely different words and, and they've decided that one's going to be the plural of the other. Person. Okay. All we're going to keep is the first two letters. So one person plus one person becomes two people. Okay, well, you can get a graduate degree from studying how that came about. And here's an even one more drastic. Mouse. All we're going to do is keep the first letter. Everything else we got rid of. So mouse becomes mice. Uh, and also louse becomes lice. But house does not become 
paste. Yeah, just add an S on the end of house according to the rule and you get houses. Okay, so let me look. Oh, here's another one. Uh, sometimes when the Y has a vowel in front of it, we don't change it into an I. We just add an S. So it follows the rule, but it follows the wrong rule. Uh, so a valley, an alley, you just add an S. But allies, A-L-L-Y, or ally, A-L-L-Y becomes allies, A-L-L-I-E-S, according to the rule. Um, I think that's it for the, oh, here's one. Um, quiz. Sometimes when there is a final Z or final S, you double it and then add the ES. So quiz becomes quizzes. Don't just add an ES, you double it before you do it. So, and again, you'll see that in the dictionary. Uh, let me see. Okay, I think that is it, except for these last ones. And these last ones uh, are sometimes a problem when you're writing because they don't change. So if you want to show something is plural, uh, you have to add some words around it. You have to say one sheep or two sheep because it doesn't change. So we'll just put a check mark to show we've looked at it. And again, most of these are, and moose is the same way, and most of the words that do this are animal words. So sheep, moose, deer, which we didn't write down, uh, is the same thing. Uh, we talked, when we were talking about dictionary entries, we talked about fish. Fish stays the same, or at least that's the preferable uh, plural. Well, it turns out that's true for almost all fish names. Cod, trout, salmon, one cod, two cod, one salmon, two salmon, one trout, two trout, one tuna, two tuna. Uh, for some reason, uh, we just gave up figuring out how to make plurals when we got around to the fish. So I, I'm not sure why that happened. And then, having said that, almost all of these are animals. Aircraft. One aircraft, two aircraft, 30 aircraft. Uh, it doesn't change from the singular to the plural. Maybe because it's got wings like a bird. I don't know. Um, that we uh, uh, decided not to uh, change that. But uh, aircraft is the same singular and plural. Uh, and these are two craft and air, or two old English words. Uh, even though when we stick them together, that's a fairly new thing. We're, what, a little over 100 years in the aircraft? So let me see. Okay, so those are the English ones. Now we're going to look at foreign words. Now, most foreign words follow the rule. And, and English has a lot of foreign words we've borrowed. Um, robot, um, corral, coffee. You know, all these words... Uh, came from someplace else, and they follow the uh, they follow the uh, regular uh, regular English rules on how they make their plurals. We just borrowed the singular and then made it plural the same way would any other singular English word, any regular English word. But the the exception to that is words that we borrowed, stole, whatever we want to call it, from Latin. And Latin, for some reason, we thought it was neat, or whatever, that we would keep the Latin, uh, we would keep the Latin plural. So words that end in I-S in Latin, they would end E-S. So basis, bases. Uh, here's another IS. Oasis. Oases. Uh, axis. Axes. Okay. Uh, here's, oh yeah, crisis and crises. And 
these are words that are pluralized not according to English rules or an English rule uh, they're done according to a Latin rule so another Latin rule datum if it ends in a um okay and I'm not really a Latin scholar if you get a Latin scholar you can tell us which particular rules they follow uh, bacterium becomes bacteria so one bacterium a million bacteria uh, bacteria don't tend to exist in twos and threes there's either you've isolated one of them or you have millions and millions of the little things uh, is that all the UMs yes and there are a lot more that I haven't included but if you see that UM uh, yeah, a lot of them are Latin words and a lot of them make their plural by way of the A but again that's not an English rule that's a Latin rule US okay US changes to I so an alumnus is a graduate of a school so one alumnus plus one alumnus equals two alumni and I think that's it for now. There are others. Again, uh, I try to give you these so kind of give you a heads up. If you see a word that ends in U-M or I-S or U-S, uh, you, you definitely want to check it. You want to make sure. But in general, if you haven't seen the word before, the first time you've seen it, look it up. The dictionary people put a lot of effort into it. And they would appreciate it if you would take advantage of all their work and not mess up when they've already given you the answer. So with that, we'll uh, kind of wind up nouns for a, for a little bit and go on to some other things. Uh, we will come back to nouns, though we're not finished by a long shot with nouns.